Good morning. Welcome back to Ann Arbor, Michigan. I'm meteorologist Mike Seidel. The story here in Lower Michigan continues to be thousands, hundreds of thousands without power here in Ann Arbor and Washington County. We have about 60,000. It's down. It's down to about 37 percent of customers. So about one out of every three homes doesn't have power. This entire neighborhood is out, but there are more than a few houses that have generators. One family that doesn't have a generator is the Fleming family. We have Dad Paul. We have Theo, Josie, and Greta. Good morning, everybody. Hi. Good morning. Hi. Okay, Paul, what's, how's it been without power for a couple of days? How are you staying warm? Because I know you don't have a generator. Yeah, yeah. Well, we're just doing our best. Um, we made oatmeal on the stove this morning and uh, made some coffee and a percolator. So just doing our best. Uh, pulled out all the sleeping bags and camping gear. Oh, uh, pick her on up, keep her warm. Hey, Theo, how are you? Good. Good. You're in first grade? Yep. And how's it been to be out of school for three days now? Um... I really like it, but I wish I could be at school, and I also like it because then we can play at home. Exactly. So you kind of you're starting to miss school now. Yeah. Well, that's that's a good sign. By the way, how did you bundle up last night? Were you warm enough? Well, I wore a base layer, then um, a base layer, and then sweatpants, and then I wore um, a base layer shirt, and then a long sleeve shirt, and then a short sleeve shirt. Wow, you were layered up. Yep. You may have had as many layers of I, as I have on. What do you think? Yeah. Yeah, okay. Well, good good way to stay warm. So what's the plan now? What have you heard from DTE as far as getting the power back on? Yeah, not really much info. It doesn't look like any crews have been out to our neighborhood yet. They say hopefully by Sunday um, things should be resolved, but we're still waiting on information and just hoping for the best. Okay, well, thanks for stopping and joining us. You're just heading up to the school just to see if they have power? Yeah, just in, in looking for something to do, frankly, because uh, we've been at home and kids kids are bored, so. I understand. I can tell you all the commercial areas are open because they're restaurants, so maybe you can get a chance to go over there. Okay, yep. Paul, yes. Paul Fleming, Theo, Josie, I love that name, and Greta, thanks for joining us here in Ann Arbor. Thank you. So there you go. It's cold, 24 degrees. you got to stay warm. Luckily, they have an option you know, with the gas stove. But many folks don't have those options. And I can tell you one thing, uh, Lynette, is the hotels have filled up rapidly. Yesterday, they started filling up. They're full. They have no rooms. And the restaurants last night, long waits in many restaurants because people can't cook. They've got to eat. And so, as you can imagine, they were packed. Yeah, I can imagine. Let's hope that that power gets on sooner rather than later. Mike, thank you. Cleanup continuing this morning amid ongoing power outages following Olive. We've got meteorologist Mike Seidel in Ann Arbor as crews work around the clock to get the lights back on. You know, Mike, a day, two days, you're like, okay. When you're starting to get up to three, four, five days, that frustration is setting in, especially when it's cold outside like this. Yeah, and, and in the summer, you think about how hot and humid it is, and you can't cool down overnight. But in this case, it's cold weather, and we've got a gentleman here, Eric Schutman, with Oakley. This is a good-looking dog. Good morning, Oakley. How are you, buddy? Got the nice fur coat. You live in this house, and we've been wondering if this tree came down from a windstorm or if it did come down from the ice storm. And you told us it came down from the ice came storm. came down from the ice storm, yep, yep. Just ripped up through the ground. I was away in Florida this week, and my wife was home alone and the power went out a couple hours later she heard some rattling around the house and looked like said sounded like something was ripping open the house and then she came wow. outside and the tree was on top of the house she said it ripped up the the sidewalk and everything so did you watch back from florida or did you come back as planned i came back as planned okay now the good thing is just like your neighbor you've got a generator going yes we got a when generator. did you get the generator installed so we got the generator installed about six months ago we put the transfer switch in and then we had the generator for about five years but you never used never it. never used it had to get it fixed and lines cleaned out and everything did that and then we just had to fill gas up plug it into the switch and we we're, we're full running now we've got wow. heat electricity lights hot coffee hot coffee hot stove so as they say fridge. you're you're cooking with gas we're now we're cooking with gas now well you know more and more people are getting these but if your power goes out you know even once a year for a few days it's worth it it's totally worth it yeah yeah this happens you know 
When's the last time the power went out here? I was talking to some locals last night, yep. and they were talking about a windstorm a few years ago, and yep. their power was out for like a week and a half. That was it. That was it. Our power, we didn't have the generator at the time, or the switch, and that's our power was out for about five days, and it was in August, I think. Right. So Thunderstorm winds. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Yep. It was the winds. So you're good to go. Yeah. Yep. And it looks like, fortunately, your house, your roof is in pretty good shape. No punctures? I don't think so. Yeah. It looks like it's pretty salvaged. So yeah, I'll just have to get someone out to clean up the day. Cut the street down. Well, but usually do you see uh, the contractors driving through the neighborhoods yeah. from out of state. Right, right, yeah, right. Yeah, trying to clean right, up. Right, well, we appreciate you uh, yeah. giving us the answer. Absolutely. And Oakley, Thank you. what are you doing, buddy? I'm just hanging out and oh. helping clean up. Uh, Oakley <laughs> is a well-behaved dog. He is. Good boy, Oakley. All He's right. Great. Felicia, Alex, if you don't have a coat like Oakley, you got to have a generator. <laughs> and uh, happy to see another family who's hooked up and they're not worried about when the power goes back on. But we still have about a third of the county, 66,000 customers here. And EDT is saying they hope to have 95% of the power on in Michigan by the end of the day Sunday. We'll hope for the best. Hope, no doubt about it. Thanks so much.